Hi and welcome back to a brand new series on my channel. I've just picked this game up from the July Steam sale and it's Darkest Dungeon. Um, it will be coming on in tangent with my um, Let's Play of Football Manager, so don't worry, there'll be more episodes of that. Sorry for the delay for a couple of months in those videos. But I got this for 550. Um, thought about getting some of the DLC, but um, there are mixed reviews on them. Um, Crimson Court and uh, The Colour of Madness. Um, made the game a little bit harder, a bit um, more monotonous with the t enemy types as well. And I just want to have a base experience of the game, um, see how I get on. I've seen some reviews and things, it looks good. good. Um, so we'll start the campaign. So we're going to press campaign, click on this one. We're going to go on the easiest setting because it is my first Darkest Dungeon experience. Um, comments down below what you started with, but I'll click that. And I'll show you the um, cutscene and we'll get a move on. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. The old road, that was a cinematic. Not sure there can't be bravery without madness um, that was a bit weird but um, we'll click on it if anybody who's watching and would like a character to be named after them um, comments down below and I'll change them um, so we've got map navigation you're currently in a room you can click on another room on the map display and this will take you to the connecting hallway so it's like a dungeon crawler type uh, game and you have to um, get torches and food and medicine and healing and people can get stressed and, and then it uh, affects their abilities or they can get a heart attack and die so it's quite hard this game people will die it's a rogue light element gameplay so all your actions are permanent there's an auto save for all your actions you can't load back and do something if they die they die so click on that so I guess we'll just move forward clicking to go forward. So we're I press click on that. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. While in a hallway, press D to move forward, A to move back. If you press the mouse and click ahead. Just I love the background, the style. Watch this dog in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. Ooh, combat is turn based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon and then click on the highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot. Because you have different spots, so if you're on the first lane, a certain character can do abilities. If they're on the second lane, they can do certain abilities, but then maybe that person in the second lane can't go into the top lane. Uh, apologies if this sound isn't too great. Um, I will turn the sound down soon. See if, um, options, audio, master volume. There you go. 
Hopefully that people will be able to hear me, but I'll be able to adjust that for the second episode. So if we click on he wants to do this, we've got this ability. Um, base these um, numbers are a bit weird, but bleed is basically damage over time. So it's a damage over time. Or well, this one is grape shot. Critical chance plus four. So we we'll whack him with this smack. And he's got a bleed on him, so that means that he'll take damage every turn. But I reckon I'll kill him with this. This is a Q's, it's a ranged attack. This one is damage, but um, plus 15 against unholy. Is that unholy? Don't think so. Um, stunning blow, we'll try that. He's stunned. Slowly, and then he died. Gently. This is how a life is taken. This guy. Each time, if you take it, you can occupy space in your inventory. So you can mouse over things. So we take 100 gold here. Yeah. Sounds good to me. While exploring, you often find interactive objects. Click or press W to interact with them. Some are less than valuable. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. <laughs> this guy, I think. Leave it's... nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. No longer welcome. Right, so we do. He's got more attacks, so we try to kill this guy off first. So we do another. So we can't attack him. We could do pistol shot, grape shot, or watch this tracking shot, bypasses stealth. Grape shot. Let's do grape shot. And they both dodged it. Ooh. How quickly oh! the tide turns. What? What the hell? You resisted the That was a massive hit. Missed me. It's quite stressful this game, has to be said. Um, I could do stunning blow again. I'm just gonna, or I could. I'm gonna do this one. Smite Smack eleven damage. Nice. Whip chains. Not really doing much to me. I'm getting stressed. You see these stress labels and the stress underneath here. They get stressed, then they um, they get a negative ability. A negative trait in their in their thing. Click. Don't know. If, I'll show you in the um, Hamlet. Right. So yeah, let's just keep hitting this guy. Smack. That was a good hit. Resisted the bleed again. I'm just gonna whack this guy again. Smack. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit unless. Inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. What's insanguination? I don't know. Most of, when most monsters die, they leave corpses. Corpses act as temporary obstacles or more. Generally, go away on their own. You can attack the obstacles, destroy them faster, but often it's better. Approach is to use ranged weapons, push and pull skills, and even corpse clearing special skills that some heroes possess. Monsters killed with bleed blight. Crits leave no corpses at all. So I don't really want to be hitting that guy. Um, right, so we've got this. I could bleed him. Can't stun him. Yep. Yeah. 
Hmm. Track shot. Ah, smack. And I buffed myself. Stunning blow. Can't do that. That requires what? First two rows, but I am in the first two rows. Why I can't attack him? I probably because it's rain. You do that. No, I'm gonna swap places with this guy. Missed, thank the Lord. Um, so he can do stuff now. So I we'll do this. No. Pistol shot. Yeah. Pistols. I think. I don't know what, why he can't attack. A devastating blow. Confidence Ooh. surges as the enemy crumbles. Yes, victory. So we get a jade stone, which is worth money. A sapphire, which is worth even more, a thousand gold. Two deeds. Scribbled records of land grants in previous generations and a portal and a portrait. Take all. Completing a quest. After you completed the requirements of a quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the quest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. That's good. Click the quest. Continue adventure. What's that? I'm gonna open it. Ooh, nothing. Oh, how do you now leave the dungeon? I'm gonna leave it now. Stupid game. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So you get quest rewards, you get collected treasures and collected heirlooms. So I've done quite good there. And then this is where you get traits. I got tuckered out minus ten damage if um, below fifty percent. Minus 10 damage to, and but an unholy slayer plus 10 ACC. I don't know what that is, but oh, look at this guy Dark Temptation. So these are your negative traits, these are your positive traits. Return to town, and this is where you like upgrade your town. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. And you are bound to them. So, week one activity log. The ruins have been unlocked. These apprentices, they're both apprentices. Quest goals complete. Successfully complete your first foray into the ruins. Defeat the apprentice necromancer. Defeat the sonorous uh, prophet. Defeat the necromancer. Say. There's lots of different things in these. Level 10. Oof, lots of. So then, it says get help where you can. On any screen, press and hold the H to see conceptual help or controls in that mode. Try it while in town, exploring, fighting, helping, uh, fighting, camping, and more. So you can upgrade things in there gold, survivalist, tavern. So we click on this stagecoach. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. 
All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. The road. You need to recruit all these heroes to fill up a party for drag and drop them into your roster. So we got two people. You can upgrade this. Click on that. You use these things down here and you can attract better and more skilled people. This one increases the number of heroes available. This one increases the size of your roster to 12. So you've got different things you can do. But what I'll do is I'll probably just you have a look at the I think you can have a look at them. Right, right click. So this guy's a seeker, plague doctor. He's kind of like looks like a healer debuffer type guy. So you've got a range noxic a uh, There we go. Noxus Blast gives them blight. That one gives them blight as well. That one gives them a blinding gas, and then that one's a deotor disorientating blast. And that's supposed to be in the back two rows. You got the different prefer and these preferably attacking the back two. And this person, click on it, right click. She's got quick, graceless, and faithless. Yep, and she's at the back two rows. So we got a full party here. Um, she's got more healing. He yeah, healing, kind of healing spells. And so we uh, drag these into here. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? While you're here, spend some of your staging. Heirlooms on upgrading the stage cut net. What this will increase the number of heroes available here in the future. Right. We'll come off of this if I can. Have a look at this thing the ancestors' memoirs. In time, you will okay. know the tragic extent of my failings. I mean, I got this game for like 550, something like that. I mean, this is a superb bargain. It's on the Switch now as well. But. I quite like the PC really. So that's you've got the prologues, you have to do the house. Sorry. Ruin has come to our family. So that's the title screen. Then the old road. Now I've got com got to complete the complete these and I'll be able to get them more videos. So that's the ancestors' memory. There isn't much more you can do in town right now, it's time to embark, but I wouldn't mind having a look at everything. Uh, nomad wa uh, wagon. Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. So that's got different things, and that's stagecoaches. So that's kind of trinkets, and then this one, graveyard. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth. Awaiting merciful oblivion. So that's where will these die, there go there. So that is basically all I can do. I might upgrade the stagecoach, I have to say. Click on there again, hopefully. I can't upgrade oh, there you go. So I'm gonna upgrade that with some quests and some deeds. So I'll upgrade that. There you go. So next time I'll be able to get more heroes. Alright, so embark. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Morbidity. Your work begins. Right, so you basically go on adventures and then you have different objectives in those dungeons and people might die or if they survive you can get more experience and upgrade them. They might also get positive or negative traits. Uh, this is where you select a mission and form a venturing party of four heroes to embark on it. Click on the quest to see their details. Drag heroes into slots at the bottom of the screen to form your party and default party order. Alright, so you've got these two. And then, so this guy first, being on one of those two rows. And same with her. And, but she can attack three. So I'll put her there and I'll put him there and I need to be doing the ruins first then you've got the cove the weird 
the Warrens and the Darkest Dungeon. I don't know why it keeps moving that around. It says scout the area and test your abilities. So provisions. The cost of preparedness measured now in gold, later in blood. You'll want to take different supplies depending on what region you're going to along the along the quest is. Now along the quest is and your and your own preferences but always bring some food and torches. For this first quest try bringing at least eight food and four torches. Right so one, two, three. is this food? Yeah. I think just having a look at what people bring I'm going to bring eight torches as well. Um, what are these? Laudanum. This evening uh, texture that Endures one's mind against the horrors. Holy water, a key. Unlocks box and strongholds. I'll bring one of these keys along as well. Right, so you embark. Off we go. Explore 90% of the rooms. There we go. So I'll right, we'll go to this room. See, I'm getting stressed. Surprised, I don't know why, because smack executed with impunity. Bloody hell, that guy got owned. Noxus blast, precision and power. So he's got a diva. Another one falls. Yeah, they don't. They Ami take got grabbed. Foolish Lost. horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. <laughs> right. The contents are yours. So we got another shovel. I didn't actually bring a shovel, so I'm glad I got one. Hundred gold and four crests. Obstacle and a battle. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Passage. Uh. They're a bit stressed out because it's dark, the light is fading, the current torch level greatly affects many mechanics. The darker it, it gets, the harder things get, but the greater rewards. They get stressed out quite easily, which is a bit annoying. There we go. I wasn't surprised this time. Debuff, uh, Noxious Fumes, Plague Grenade. Let's try this Plague Grenade. Right, uh, this guy. Yeah. He's been blighted. What's that? Is it good for him? Ah, he's moved me forward. Judgment. Okay. 
I always get a bit worried in this game. Right, so we're smackaroony this guy. Smack. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. So I can do a, a Noxious Blast. Noxious. Or I can do Disorientating Blast with a stun. We'll do that. Right. Yes, he's stunned. Uh, judgment on this guy. Their formation is broken. Yep. Maintain the offensive. Right, so we kind of need to. I want to heal up. So we just whack this corpse. Thought I'd see if I can heal up before them. This is healing grace. Heals was four to five on that one. I've done five, so that's good. And I might see if I can stun him again. Heal up. There you go, stunned. I'll just kill him now. Smack for 30. Fiend. You are unmatched. It's good. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I'm not overconfident. I'm pretty scared right now. Another light. Which way should we go? Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Excellent. Wasn't surprised. That's good. Right. Divine comfort. Judgment. Smack. A momentary abatement. Binding gas with a stun. Stunned. That's good. Now we can concentrate on the others. Continue the onslaught. He's dead. Destroy them all. Big hit. Alright. Another stun. And he brought forward. There you go. Try this grape shot against both of these two. Smackaroon. And he's stunned and debuffed. Zealous accusation. Confidence Smack. surges as the enemy crumbles. Ooh, that's a good move. And then do that Press one. Press this Smack. advantage. Give Take them no quarter. Pass this hand. Got two of these. Seize buses. this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Excellent. So we've done. Up to there. Getting stressed again. 
traps, scouted traps will be visible on the ground as you approach them. Select a hero and click on the trap to attempt to disarm it. Some heroes are better at disarming than others. To try this guy. He's more of a rogue character. Oh, I keep forgetting about. Scouting. Some reward. Oh, loads of food. For a task well performed. Loads of food, yeah. Torches run out a bit too quick. Yep, eat some food. They're happy now. This will probably be the final boss in here. Right, so this is a four person now. This guy seems to be very good. This guy can hit on the first two rows. Back. Let's kill this guy. Smack. Yes, stunned him. That's good. Debuff. No one can hit the last two people. Judge. Not sure why I'm hitting the guy that's Heal this guy here, it's a healing grace. Five. As the sea falls, a faint hope blossoms. I just like stunning the people at the moment. One to three of the party, I'm just going to go on that. He's resisted, but he's got a debuff. He's slashed me. Don't care about that. I'm going to heal up this guy again. Stun this back guy. He's stunned. There you go. He's dead. Smack. 
smack. Judge by crushed by judgment. Maybe a trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Yeah. I didn't go through the whole of the thing, but I'm I'm quite happy about that. So, so. Yep. So I get some treasure and some busts. Click on the. There we go. Scouted it. Nice. That was quite hard. Uh, we'll get a lot harder though. So we've got 3,000 gold, but we need, we made more than that in collected treasures and a lot of heirlooms, a lot of these chests and busts. Right, let's see what. She's got a paranoid ability, obsession with a paranoia, but she can resist. He's got the beast slayer, I quite like it. I quite like both of them, really. Yeah. My obsession caused this great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. Over time, some negative uh, quirks will lock into place and become severe. Severe negative quirks cost more to remove in the sanatorium. So I've got to defeat the apprentice um, necromancer. Next. That's week two. The tavern is unlocked and the abbey is unlocked. What are they? The cobwebs have been dusted. The pews set straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. Heroes receive stress, which is those bars on the bottom of their uh, characters. Um, each activity has different side effects. Experiment to find the best activity for each hero, depending on the, their quirks. Committing a hero to an activity locks them into that activity until next week. You have to take a different hero with you on your next quest. So I could do this, get rid of them their quirks and this one is the tavern another fresh kegs room. cards and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike nice so you can do bar work gambling or the brothel so look at this stagecoach see who I brought so we can get n new um, plague doctors and another healer she's got two on um, not good ones this person we click right she's got shocker which is minus 10 some resist and minus 15 on the first round calm but she's balanced oh there's this one he's got two minus SPD of the torture is below 26 plus 20 percent stress if the torture is below 26 Oh, there's this one. He's got guilty conscience. Bears the crushing guilt of past deeds and deeds imagined obsessed with. I don't really know what they are. But if you have a look, you, the, this guy's got battlefield uh, medicine and this debuffing spell. That's that guy. And then there's this guy who has a more standard one. Uh, should I get any of those? He's got three, she, she's got three, he's got five. Kind of needed to put him in the um, sanatorium for a week, but I haven't got that, I haven't then got a, um, a tank at the front. Seems like these aren't really that good. I'll just send all three of them, all of them again into the, what's this, <laughs> oh no, here, trinkets, tavern, blightstone, I'll go on to here, ok, 
can I drag that into here? Yeah, so he's got that. This one. Plus 15 blight skill. This guy's got blight, hasn't he? He's got a shock of he's fated. Against beasts. So I could drag that into here. Probably just going to send all those out again. Might upgrade the stagecoach. I can. Click on that. Click on that. Roster of twelve. This one says and increases the number of heroes available to four. Might do that. There you go. So next turn and we'll be able to get some better ones. Can I don't really need two of these, can I dismiss I don't really want these hanging about. Um A way to dismiss them. Don't want them. Guess not. Oh, we'll go on another adventure, I think. He he might get stressed. Um, but I haven't got any other um, tanks. Yeah, he says he's doesn't he's not that happy, but I haven't really got anybody else, so. Says. But I could go on another easy one, getting some more rewards, or I could go on another scout mission to explore 90% of the rooms. for another short one but we we'll go for this one instead. Provision. Food didn't seem that important. One shovel. There you go. I'm gonna do nine. We're in park on another adventure. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar, now foreign. Right. So he's stressed out. Is there any any of my abilities that can stop stress? Healing grace. Heal party. Hand of light ranged attack. Plus 15 against unholy. This guy doesn't, just a blight guy. Right, so let's go. Select your destination. I need to do 90% of the runes. You have to think about where you're going. We you scroll out. I could just go like that, I think. I'm starting here, so if we go this way. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Seem to be good at them disarmed. She's getting a bit stressed. The light, the promise of safety. Right, so we've got to kill these four again. Stunned, I'm putting the wrong place. Eight, that's a lot of it. Smack. 
receiving bled, I don't know. Right, so. Confidence surges as the enemy yep. crumbles. Each dead. Continue the onslaught. Oof. Destroy them all. Wow, that was a big hit. Don't need that's in the first two rows. Using the back two rows, so that's kind of a uh, disconnect there, which is a bit annoying. Right, so we do judgment smack. And it heals you as well, that's good. Great shot. That hits the thump free. Smack. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. He's resisted the bleed, unfortunately. Um, there. Judgment. He's got polite. Uh, kills him by inches. Got all of those. It's trapped. He's been, but he resisted whatever that was. Go down here. Twenty-five gold. Some more people. So we could do grape shot. I'm going to this thing and attack the first two rows. And attack all of them. Just marking targets and then giving them plus 25. I might do that. Then. So I've marked that as a target. Nice. That's a good little spell, that one. Right. So we're stun this bat guy. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and so. purpose is made clear. He dodged it, fuck off. Oh my word, he's... Ah, oh, what the hell. As the fiend falls, yes. a faint hope blossoms. Their 
formation is broken. Yeah. Maintain the offensive. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. There you go. Sedated. Soothed. Stated. Stunning and heat them up. Is the weapon that yeah. cuts on its own. Six hundred gold for that. And some bandages. We've only got we've got six um, torches left. Another five. This guy's probably gonna. Oh, what is going on with this guy? Says right click to use some bandages. I'm just gonna smash this guy. I'll um, do that. There you go. Got some ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Yep, he's been helped out. Hidden treasures. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. seem to be getting the first turn, which is a tad annoying. Stun that guy. 
dodged it. I'm dodging them quite nicely. Right. Oh my word! The that human mind, fragile, like a robin's egg. I shouldn't have done. Put him into the battle because I didn't. I wasn't given another tank. I'm afflicted, and they get different um, behaviors and stat changes. So that's that. Missed. Oh, this is getting on my nerves now, actually. Always piss off, die. The way is lit, the path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Yeah, <laughs> what is going on? Finally, something worked out. Nightmarish creatures can be felled, they can be beaten. So, we've done all of those, we got to move on to here. Finding the stuff is only the first he test. Took it for himself. Now it must be carried home. <laughs> Ignoring uncertainty, the birthplace of He's dread. just getting whacked all the time. It's getting on my nerves. Heals, divine heal. I'm gonna concentrate on that horror guy. He's just annoying people. I'm, I might have to fucking sack that guy.
Hmm. He's gonna have raid next turn. Unforeseen, unforgiving. See, this is quite a hard game, even on the first. Yeah, yeah, gets in the heart attack, dies. Oh, my word. Just annoying people and getting people stressed out. This guy needs to just leave the party and go. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. Touched it after I thought. Oh my word. Be gone, fiend. Here we go. Get some food. Even, it doesn't even show you where you are. There you go. <laughs> buffing them. He's gonna get a fucking. But on the last two. All right. Do blight on these two. Masterfully executed. Oh my word. This guy's gonna leave my party, I'm getting pissed off with him. They said uh, that was one of the reviews unfortunately with this game is that the stress system is just unfair, broken and unnecessary really in the game. Noxious Blast. Play Grenade. Do that. Oh, this is getting on my nerves now. Everything I do, they're just blocking. Go away. Resisted it, blocked it. Look, it will probably. I 
resisted, everything's you're pathetic, everything's pathetic. Decimated. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? He's just taking everything now. Trap, which I didn't see for some reason. In Radiance, may we find victory. So quest complete. Right, so that was just done. Corridors and sloped walls See how hard that game is. Really quite difficult. To feel familiar. That was only on the first one. The thing I learned about it was that you can't have any your tanks on stress because they take much of the damage. So I collected some money and. Minus 20% in the Warrens, plus Virtue. Yep, be slow. He's deadly. Can you feel it? The God walls Blanks between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. The weird has been unlocked. So I'll just upload, I'll just have a look at, see if we've got any heroes that we can, better have a tank, who's he, he's in the last two rows, so no, he's in the first two rows, three rows, so yeah, I can, and then he's on the first two rows, so that's great, so I'll just show you how to heal people up, and then uh, this will be the end of the episode. So click that. So he's got tuckered out. He's got three god thing. Own town where only pray for stress relief. So right. So go to Yabby. Click him in. Pray. There you go. Confirm true. Cancel true. Yeah. We'll see if we can upgrade this first. Actually. Um, click on that. What, which one am I doing? This one. Increases the stress relief. So we'll do that. Go back. And then pray to a higher power. Click on that. Yep. Done. What's this person? Will not flagellate. But this person definitely needs some stress relief. So.
How do I pray? So we go to the bar. We'll upgrade the bar. So we go to tavern. Go to that. We do the bar two to five. All manner of diversion and dalliance await those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. This one reduces the treatment costs. So we we'll do that. As well. Strong drink, a game of chance, and companionship. The rush of life. Yep. We've got six, six, six. So we can do some gambling. So we we'll do that. With enough ale, maybe they can be inured against the horrors below. So who are we going to be? Justice Seeker? Cultist. We need one of these two. But he's on five stress. Has any of these got like minus stress? Debuffer. Marked and debuff. Blinded. Battlefield heal. Battlefield heal. Buff 20% healing received, that's quite good. So, uh, who's this? Does he have a heal? Dodge finale. Dodge attacks. Critical chance mod. Buff. So no, so probably I'll probably put these maybe put all these four in. Um, possibly put him in. Even though he's a bit stressed out. But that will be the end of this episode. Thank you for um, tuning in. Um, the game seems to be pretty hard, but um, I'm quite enjoying it, so thanks very much, and I'll see you again in another video. Thank you.